some point you may realize that uh, you have a need to be heard and you may not be ever be heard um, so your option is to your only option then is to speak even though you may never be heard unless we make a change in the way we live we're really going to destroy the world so please Let's start conserving, saving, stop wasting, and stop being greedy. And then maybe we can, uh, we can stop the degradation of our dear, dear world. Okay? Be nice to your fellow man. Be kind. Think of yourself in their shoes. And make each day worthwhile. Love each other. Amen. Being First Nations, our Earth needs to be replenished instead of destruction. I like everybody and all nationality, but uh, I like how you like helping old people. And uh, children like to help. It's like a all nationality go to hold. Which premier go to like a help? This I go to vote. Thank you. My message to humanity today is to turn inward for that peace and fulfillment of your life, because that's the purpose. My eyes are cameras, my ears are microphones. I'm recording you right now, sending signals to my satellite. Everything I say is being recorded. That's the way it works. I am recording Bob TV, this is my show. How you doing? Nice talking to you. <laughs> okay, my message for humanity. Uh, listen to music, play music, enjoy music, dance often and have a good time. For humanity, you know, it would be nice, you know, if we uh, have more understanding, more compassion to each other, and try to help ourselves, you know, as much as we can. And be against, you know, the unfairness. What else can I say? Um, okay. Uh, we have to appreciate everything we have, everything that we don't notice we have, uh, all the blessings that we have every day can take granted and to be here now and appreciate it. <laughs> I have a couple of uh, messages. Uh, the first would be this. The world is too dangerous for anything but truth and too small for anything but love. And secondly, whatever you can do or dream you can Begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Um, I, just, I don't know what to say. Um, just my message to everybody is to have a good life and <laughs> come visit Vancouver. Well, hello there, folks. My name is Alex, and I live by what I call my Five Boy Scout Guidelines. It supersedes all laws that man has made. The five guidelines being, be kind, help those who deserve help, keep Mother Nature green, be prepared, and be happy. There we are. All right, so my message for humanity today is that humanity, you don't have to figure, you don't have to try to change the world. All you have to do, all I have to do, is simply change a person's moment. A smile on their face, a compliment what they're wearing, the sweater, change their moment, and then guess what? You're changing the world. Peace. Good morning, humanity. I want to tell you that I love you. Even though you use the bus as a platform for your racist views, even if you are mean or rude, 
uh, that doesn't matter at the end of the day because ultimately I forget the specifics of people who have gone around spreading hate and at the end of the day I love you. Hi, my message for humanity is to live simply and be grateful and enjoy what you have. Thank you. I looked and there before me stood the Lamb standing on Mount Zion and with him 144,000 with his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. Listen my friends, I'm the Lamb, I'm Jesus, okay? I'm sending SARS to Russia, bubonic plague to China, nuclear meltdown. Great Lakes, okay? Bill Gates is going to rain fire after the seven year covenant in the middle, and he's going to set up the image of the beast so that it should be worshipped, and it'll cause everybody who does not worship to be killed. And he'll force everybody, rich and poor, free and slave, to take the mark upon the right hand of the poor. It's that no one should be able to buy and sell unless they have that mark. And if you take that mark, you're going to burn in hell in my presence and in the presence of my angels. This is it. My judgment has come. God bless you. Have a good day. So it's called the, the Free World Charter, and it's an incentive to resolve global suffering with the removal of all money, debt, and trade, which are not which are now outdated and unnecessary through modern technology. So it's basically using technology to provide free food so that we can stop worrying about the necessities in life and move on and progress with technologies, you know, start exploring the stars instead of dealing with you know, poverty and all that. We'll, we'll fix it. All right. Uh, my name is Kevin, and uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to just kind of put in a thought and tell everybody out there that. My message for humanity is simply to open your mind to the idea that everything is possible. If you can think it, if you can imagine it, if you can dream it, then you can make it appear for yourself and for the rest of the world to enjoy and benefit from it. And everybody, have a wonderful day. Well, for one thing, you try walking around in a wheelchair. You think it's easy and reserve, you'll be lucky to be in the city. At least we have flat crown around here. We don't have to try and squish by the pebbles. Now. So at least down here, everybody hates me for being like this. But I find it easier down here than if I was in reserve, see, Christ, right, trying to go to all those tiny little rocks with the wheels spinning, and then you're stuck down here, at least I could move around. Oh, oh, hello. I, I love shopping in Carisdale. It's a wonderful spot and I have my favorite stores and I really enjoy it because the people are so nice in here and thank you for having Carisdale open so well. Thank you. Bye. Listen to our great teachers, the green ones, the plants, the trees, the flowers. Hi there. So what's the question? Is it still uh, regarding humanity? Yes. All right. Words of wisdom. Uh, imagine a world with no religion. That's uh, John Lennon. And the other guy is, uh, let's all get together and feel all right. Bob Marley. That's all I got to say. <laughs> my nickname is Shadow. Uh, my big thing for Vancouver is, it should be the most loving, caring, giving city in the world. We never walked past people, walked over people. We always make sure they were okay. And if they weren't, then we make sure we helped them. Today it doesn't seem to be that way. I wish people would get out of their heads and into their hearts more and show people what it's all about. It's about the heart. It's not about the head or what we can get or what we can go get from people or what we can try to get off somebody. It's about what we have in ourselves. Thank you. I would like to talk today a little bit about the free love revolution that's happening in my world and in the world of those around me who are spreading the love to try to find a new freedom because you know, people have been persecuted for who they want to love since love existed because people have hate where there's love. So what I'm trying to do is spread the idea that we can love who we want to love 
and that's something I stand, I stand with in my life. I support young people who've been persecuted for who they want to love. You know, young people that um, associate with the LGBT community, um, young people who've been bullied. And you know, this spreads into adulthood. This is something that doesn't go away. And I feel really passionate about talking about, you know, freeing ourselves. And uh, love has no borders or boundaries. And the more love, the better in this world. Tell the world. Very important to smile to people when you see them. I just like to tell people to keep smiling and God bless. Okay, my message is this. I think that the uh, invention of the, uh, the Blackberry the portable internet, like whatever company it is now that have them, I think three years they had uh, the BlackBerry thing themselves, patent, you know, the patent. So now I think uh, the lot of companies have it. I think that is the quintessential and the pinnacle invention of the human race that will establish in retrospect, okay, where we really, 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 really started moving in what you call, um, so we often attribute, say, to aliens, right, how, how they might advance me 5,000 years from now, to the actual portable, I call it the portable information machine. And if the government could just, if the governments of the world just get everything that is published uh, legally in any country on the internet, that that is itself the pinnacle uh, invention of mankind, the uh, the portable the portable internet, so that any place anybody is, as opposed to having to go travel for, as we used to do before uh, uh, before technology really got going, people who write books at a PhD level, scientists, professors of philosophy, such things often had to make long trips even across the ocean to get to a library there for books they could only get there. Now everything at your fingertips, that means information at your fingertips. Knowledge is power, Foucault says. So I just want to say that's how big personally in retrospect I think the invention of the portable internet, the Blackberry, uh, which by the way is a Canadian invention, uh, is. Thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this is Ambrose, and my message to humanity is awareness, awareness, awareness. Have a lovely day. Thank you. I think to change the world, people need to change their consciousness. Because if you change your consciousness, everything changes. Thank you. Do what makes you happy. Hello, humanity. Please stop developing nuclear power. Find other ways to make power. I don't think we've learned enough throughout history. And uh, yeah, please stop trying to spread cancer quicker, quicker than it needs to. Bye. Well, the message for humanity is unite, live as one, be one human being, not a division of too many. I guess the only thing I could say, although it's not really a message for humanity as a whole, but more a message for humanity as individuals, don't be afraid to take a chance. Because we only have one life to live, or as far as we know, so. Enjoy the little things, and appreciate what you got. And don't whine about what you don't have. Because there's people that are worse off. That's it. Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. Whatever floats your balloon. Boats float out of necessity. Balloons float out of whim. Alfred Chow. That's fair. I think uh, the government should help the homeless people more than they should instead of spending their money on all this other business. Thank you. Okay. So message for humanity. Um, you know what, I think that it's just so important to realize that a little friendliness goes a long way because when we walk around in our day-to-day -day lives, we all feel so alone sometimes. And just that tiny little moment when we reach out to someone and give them a smile as they're walking down the sidewalk, and we don't know who that person is, we have no idea, we don't know their story, but everybody's carrying that little bit of pain no matter what they look like. And just to give them that little reassurance that we identify with them when we share that smile and we get one back, in that moment, there's that unity, that shared sameness between each individual, and uh, everybody smiles in the same language. So, never underestimate the power of a smile. That's my message for humanity. You. Okay, what do you want to tell the world? 
Hello world! <laughs> That's simple. Hold what you want. Oh, I tell the world what I want. I wish there was such thing as equality. Hi, my name is Suzanne. I'm an Indian princess. I'm a mega food vendor. And if you keep one foot in yesterday and one foot chasing tomorrow, you're going to piss on today. I think humanity needs more poetry in its life. Start today. Write a poem, read a poem, hear a poem. Just enjoy more poetry in your life and breathe. All right, message to humanity. Slow down, look around, lift up thine eyes from your Facebook or Twitter and your laptop, see what's going down. I guess my message to humanity is be compassionate always. Um, my message to humanity would be to remember that the temple of God really lies within and um, to seek out your bliss and that's, you know, part of the process of living on this earth is experiencing everything to the fullest, really touching the ground with your feet and breathing the air and seeing the colors and smelling the scents and um, really enjoying the gift of life. Um, and my biggest thing right now that I'm practicing is really returning back to my understanding of the earth and our relationship to nature and how each human's actually made of the same elements as nature, carbon dioxide and oxygen and water and all these great things. So if humans could really remember their relationship to the earth and start building that, re reconnecting back um, and building that respect for the earth again, we can start to build upwards and onwards as, as society, um, start planting seeds and watching things grow and building our connection to what we eat again, um, taking off our shoes and grounding in the earth because so many negative ions um, come from the earth. And yeah, I think just reconnecting um, in general to ourselves, to the earth, to each other, um, breaking down barriers and understanding that separation is just an illusion. So, um, yeah, let's move in a positive evolutionary direction and support each other. And celebrate! 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 Life! Thank you. Hi world, I believe in you. That's all I have to say. Well, I'll tell the world you got to love your brother. Always be nice to your sister and your mother. One thing you must learn, and that's respect, because a lot of people do that today, they neglect. To be nice to the people around them you see, that's what it's called, humanity. Integrity is all you need. What you see is you see people bleed, you see people dying, you see women crying, you see all sorts of politicians lying. I'm telling you this, this is a crime. Take it from me, my name is Johnny Slime. I'm the king of rhyme. I can tell you things about this hood. I used to be bad, but now it's good. The police cleaned up the streets, it's true. People smoke a crack over here at two. Kids are watching it, think they'll see. I'm gonna tell you, cause it ain't me. I'm telling you the best thing you can do is be the one that says, hey you. All right, my uh, thing in humanity is, that I think that we should stop uh, chopping all our trees down or else we're not going to have any air. Yes sir, my name is Bupinder Dhaliwal. I work Vancouver downtown. I drive taxi. I'm a Canadian. I'm a proud Canadian. I'm born and raised in India. I'm 31 years in Canada. People here in Canada, we should respect democracy. We should vote for democracy. If, you, if any time you feel that your democratic rights are at stake, voice out. Say your voice loud and clear. Thank you very much. God bless. Message for the world. Pick up that recycled shit. That is good for everybody. Don't ever forget your creator. It's not a mistake because we're here. Thanks.